What's going on, boys and girls? GDK back with another episode of NHL Supercard. You'll notice a couple new additions to the video frame. First, up above right here, I am now on Twitch. It's going to be twitch.tv slash Sports. Real nice and simple. Um, I'll probably be streaming Supercard. I'm streaming NHL 16, a uh, Hockey Ultimate Team right now. I just started playing Hockey Ultimate Team, so... Uh, you get to see a beginner work his way up to becoming a superstar and a legend. So if you want to have a good time watching me play, go ahead and join me right there. I'll be usually streaming in the evenings. I don't have a set schedule yet. But if you go to my channel and uh, follow me, you'll be able to get notifications whenever I start streaming. No one's really streaming super hard at the moment. So if the audience is there, I'm willing to provide. No problem. Down below... You'll see a little countdown for MLB 16, the show. Currently, there's 84 days until that game is released. And that's one game that I'm going to go super hard on. The very first episodes I'm going to put up will be tutorials on how to pitch and how to hit. Um, as a lot of uh, newer players seem to uh, struggle with that, I'll be able to show you all the ins and outs, exactly how to get strikeouts, exactly how to get home runs um, at all difficulty levels. I'll also be doing the Franchise Mode, um, and Diamond Dynasty, and plenty of online games. I'm, I really want to play online with all of you. So if you guys are into baseball, and especially if you're into MLB, 84 days from now, that's when this channel is going to be producing 5-star quality MLB show content. So back to NHL Supercard. Road to the Cup ended a couple of days ago, actually. Let's just go dive right in to see how I fared. So in the latest Road to the Cup, as you know, I tried to get Def Skinner so I could get the Ultra Rare Pro. But I hit that brick wall right around, I would say, 40%. 40% I hit the brick wall. And um, I couldn't even win the easy plus twos, right? I mean, easy, right? So let's check in on my epic season right now. I did make it all the way to the semifinals. Currently nothing, nothing. And I just realized I forgot to energize. But you know what? I don't think it matters. Because Thugnacious, the number one overall seed, uh, his team is just better than mine. He has all these ultra rare pros. And I didn't... I mean, all I have really is the Ovechkin and the Gilmore. So I'm expecting to lose in the semifinals, which actually is fine for me, because rewards-wise, I at least get one Epic card. I wasn't even expecting to make the playoffs, honestly, because I thought um, all the other decks would be miles above mine. But I, at least I got to the semifinals, and I'm going to get an Epic card, which is going to help. In fact, I really hope the Epic card is another defenseman or uh, a right winger, hopefully. I would even take a goalie, really. I would take an epic goalie, too. Now, I've also heard that new tiers are going to be added into the game soon. Um, two new tiers, in fact, just like they do it in the other Supercard games, right? Well, now that we are about to head into the All-Star game, into the second half of the season, a lot of people are speculating that Cat Daddy will be uh, unlocking those new tiers within the next couple of months. So those new tiers will be Star and playoff. Here is a picture of potentially what one of the playoff cards will look like. This will be the highest tier in the game um, eventually. And this Zach Parisi has plus 100 to playmaking, which is ridiculous. And his base focus will be a little on will be a little over 1,200. And I cropped this out from the same uh, image. Playoff is the the best tier star will be after legendary so i'm working so hard just to get the legendary and then just gonna, they're going to add two more tiers but hey that just means there's more cards to get and there's more grinding to do i'm hoping really hoping that when these two new tiers are released that they'll also update the uh ladder rewards too because i am well over past the last uh ladder reward count so I hope that I am grandfathered into that. Alright, so with all that being said, let's just jump into some quick games, get a reset, and call it a day. But that Zach Parisi card, man, that card looks pretty sick. It looks really sick. 
and I would love to get it. Um, this is probably going to be Corey Crawford. Most efficient option would probably be Gilmore, as always. Gilmore always beats... Oh, it's an epic Corey Crawford, huh? Well, wasted a support there. Thank you, AI. Ovechkin and the Amigo. Oh, I think... Uh, that's close. That's really close. 600, oh, that is as tight as it can be. But I think Ovechkin has it. Yep, Ovechkin. Too strong of a card. Get a nice energy. I have to be careful when I'm in Epic Plus here, because if I'm not looking, it could be an Epic Plus Plus deck, which I, I know I probably will have a hard time against. Uh, I want to try to get that shutout again, so... Even the Bow Meester really sucks. This will give me the best chance at a shutout. shutout. Oh, nope. Didn't quite get there. Because no matter... Even if I have a team up with Ovechkin, I should be able to win it, right? Yeah. Not even a problem. Almost nothing will beat him, except another Legendary Pro. You do see Legendaries and uh, single Legendaries and Epic. Which means really only one thing. Either they got it from Rivals Clash, or they bought packs. Those are the only, only two ways you can get legendaries. Um, let's go with Will Forty because I know Pekka Rene was not offered as a Rivals Clash reward, so he definitely bought or or pulled Pekka Rene from a pack, and I can beat a Pekka Rene. Focus, you the skater. Well, let's go with Doug Gilmore. Yep, Drew Doughty. I don't think he was a Rivals Clash reward. Another team up with Ovechkin. This could be Harry. And there's the Pekka Rene. But Ovechkin has over a thousand focus. More than enough. <laughs> to take down two, uh, two epic cards. Or one epic card and one legendary. You know what? I like the name. Greenland. Let's go for it. He doesn't have any games played. Or he doesn't have nearly as many games played as you probably should if you were grinding for you to play. So he's he's also bought packs, I'm sure. Unless yeah, there's no way you can get to Epic Plus Plus in that few amount of games. He, he doesn't even have the ladder rewards yet, I don't think. Um, team up, choose two skaters. Go with the Vetchkin. And the Amigo. Vetchkin's too good. Alright, let's try to get the shutout out here. I want three picks. I want three picks. I am not going to get three picks. No. I'm not going to get three picks. No. Good card. Wasted his enhancements on a single epic, but... You know. Still won the game. There's the reset for the episode. A very lame passing through support. But I wanted to just make a quick one uh, for today. Just show you guys where I ended up in Road to the Cup. Because I'm going to be gearing up and preparing my body for the next Rivals Clash. Because I am aiming to the top 100 once again. Hope you guys join me for that journey. I'm really hoping the legendary that they offer is... Either is uh, at is at least uh, a right winger or a D man. I will especially take the goalie. I don't think they've offered a legendary goalie uh, so far, but that would be sweet. But basically, any legendary that's not a left winger, I will take even a center because I could upgrade from Doug Gilmore for sure. And if I did, uh, that would definitely get me into legendary. Maybe even to legendary plus or higher. Uh, thank you, boys and girls, for watching. Just see you in a couple days when Rivals Clash starts.